Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney here today to tell you about a website called Timeline JS at this URL from Night Lab, which gives you the ability to make beautiful timelines and embed them in Google Sites. Now I'm going to tell you, well, let's click on make a timeline. And I will tell you right now that this looks daunting. It's not as daunting as it seems. So you click get the spreadsheet template. You make that copy. Of course, at this point, you want to rename it. And if you look here, this, to me, a spreadsheet like this looks very daunting and very intimidating. If you just dive a little bit deeper, these are just dates. This is a video. That's why there's a little timestamp there. If you're only using images, you just leave that blank. You can give it a headline text. And this is the media where it actually where you know where you go get it so you get something from wikimedia commons you get something from vimeo or youtube and it's just there and then from there the other thing is you can cut you can choose a hexadeck for the background and it's really either title or era or blank i just use title and then blank and then you go from there now to make this a timeline on a website you click file publish to web and click publish. Once you do that, then you actually do something very interesting. You know this URL right here? Usually in G Suite, this URL is completely worthless. In Timeline.js, we're actually going to use this URL. So we copy it. We go back to the Timeline website and we scroll down and we paste it right there and hit enter and now we get this link right here and we can put that in a new tab and it looks like this this uh, image is loading but it looks like this because we haven't done anything with it just yet and we can also embed it into a Google site, which I'll do right now. So I have my playground site up. I click on double click. I click embed, embed code, paste. There it is, hit insert. And I recommend going full length with these. It's loading that image. It's taking a minute. Let me show you what it looks like when you actually do it. So I made one about Richard Nixon. And you see here, this is a little bit more organized. I, I just used their template. I did all that stuff right. And I added some images. And then let's go to an actual site of mine. And we'll go to our preview. And here it is. And so you see there's an actual scale of dates down there. The first you know, frame, I guess you want to call it, does not have a, a date because just a cover image. The alt text is working nicely. And then if I click next, I get more dates on my timeline. You can put the uh, thumbnails. Notice the thumbnails. There's like a little image there and I can go there. And so this to me is a really nice thing. Like this is nicer to me than a Google slide for a Google site embed. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.